Really? Are we doing this again? Come on, you gotta be smarter than that already. Do you not see what's happening? Every stinking four years. Hey, those are not for you. Eyes over here, big boy. All right, that's not your present. That's my present. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me again today. Just a quick, quick video. It seems like it's already spinning up again. We do this every couple years and I'm really, really shocked by the sheer unpreparedness of most people or the panic or the, or the fanaticism that goes into this time of year. Actually, it's this time of the election cycle. Ammo panic and ammo shortages projected. Everywhere you look, there's articles going on now, like, oh, the next ammo shortage, 2024, and the worst ammo shortage in history, and we're not gonna be able to find all the bullets and the pew pew things and all the, okay, oh my God. Do you not see what's happening yet? It's a pattern. Corporations in the industry, billionaires around the world, people are always, there's always money changing hands. There's always ownership changing hands. There's always, politics changing hands for money for cash every time this happens every time there's an election cycle every time there's a new law or there's a new tragedy of some kind um the world in the in the, especially the shooting industry um seems to get itself in a tizzy and an uproar about the next ammo shortage or availability components or lack thereof or whatever and we've had some in recent years and say since about 2008 maybe um, we've had a rapid increase in bad things happening that always coincide with the passage of laws, either pro or against Second Amendment rights and that kind of thing, specifically this category I'm talking about. So every time a good law comes along that could enhance or en encourage the uh, the expansion of Second Amendment liberties or freedom for individuals and stuff, something bad happens. And every time a law comes along that is, since, or, you know, that is geared at restricting uh, constitutional rights and law and the ability for the individuals to defend themselves, something bad happens. So let's just not go too dark, far into that rabbit hole because that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fallout of that and the fallout of that recently for those in the shooting community, those in the firearms community, Second Amendment supporters, that kind of thing, has been ammo and components availability. It's gotten really, really bad over the last 10 years or so, 10 to 12 years. Um, a lot of it's politically motivated. A lot of it's motivated by supply chains, um, overseas wars and that kind of stuff. Got it, it happens, check. But my surprise always is that people still panic about it. That people still freak out about it and start panic buying and just, bulk hoarding and stashing or, or freaking out thinking that that's going to help anything by doing that or the real surprising thing is that at this point are you not prepared yet for this have you not after if you're in the community and now granted there's some people out there that are mute, new to the firearms community because there's a lot of people since i don't know maybe about two, 2018 the peaceful mostly peaceful process of 2020s and stuff like that since that time frame have realized that hey no one's coming to help you no one's coming to save you you have to defend yourself so yeah there's a lot of new people in the industry and that can in turn um uh, uh support a a component or, or availability shortage you know can it create that because you have a lot of new people in the market buying new stuff to train with to to practice with to defend themselves with and to stash you're going to get some shortages this is natural that's the point i'm getting at here though this has been going on long enough now that I, I'm always surprised by people that I have conversations with or that I read articles of or, or, or online and they're just completely gobsmacked and shocked that they can't go to the store and find their favorite type of ammo. How do you not have some already? Why, are you, why do you feel the need that you need to have five billion jajillion rounds sitting in a bunker somewhere? You're never going to get to them. You're just a supply drop for somebody else. Just a rant. I'm just going down a road. Um, but... At this point in the game, you should have ammo. You should have ample ammo. Most of us should have some. Ample supplies to feed your critter getters or whatever, you know, your self-defense firearms, your critter getters and stuff like that. And it really, really surprises me that people don't by this point. This is manufactured, all of it. 
the the hype, the the panic, the the sub shortness of supply, the strangling of supply chains, component availability for reloading stuff, all that. It's manufactured. How do you not get this yet? It's manufactured. The scarcity is manufactured. It will come back. It always does. But every time it comes back, and that that wheel keeps revolving, the places the prices become wildly inflated. It's manufactured. Here's my advice. Whether you're new to the shooting community or you're been in it a while and you still ain't caught on or you're just trying to catch up. Some of, some people are still just trying to catch up. A moderate stash of the things you shoot the most or reload the most is all you really need. Make sure you keep that stash at a reasonable level and fed. Keep it at a status quo and don't worry about the rest. Don't panic buy the shelves clean. There's no need to. You're not going to use it. You're not going to carry it. If you have to bug out, you're not going to take it with you. You can at most carry two to three hundred rounds of any given caliber. You still need food and water, knives, fire starting stuff. If you're going to bug out anywhere, I'm not bugging out nowhere. I'm staying home. I've got a castle. I'm going to stay in it. Shift your mindset. Don't panic. Get yourself a proper amount, a good amount for your supply, what you need. Whether you're, whether you're a competi competition shooter, I mean, like people like competition shooters and stuff like that, they're going to use a lot more than most people because they shoot all the time. Um, reload. Get yourself basic reloading equipment. Get it set up. Get yourself a few gallons of, of, of powder and a few, you know, boxes of bullets and some brass and primers. Call it good. This is, I, I don't even, it's, I, it just boggles my mind. I just don't get it sometimes. But anyway, are we going to do this again all election year? Let's not. Let's just not. For humanity's sake and for the new people out there that are that are, really do need to get proficient with their firearms and need to train and need some ammo availability, do your, do your neighbors a favor. Do your neighbors a favor in this firearms community, especially in your new ones, the ones that are brand new to this community of, of Second Amendment constitutional supporters who believe in the right to keep and bear arms and actually want to exercise and practice that right to defend themselves because the government's never going to come and save you. Um, they're more likely to show up and cause you a problem than they are to cause the, the vile thugs running the streets a problem. Do them a favor, leave some ammo on the shelves for everyone else. And if you haven't got it stashed for yourself by now, you just aren't paying attention. Have a blessed day. Merry Christmas.